Hey everybody, Wyoming James checking in, day number 70, day number 70, checking in from the Urban Micro Farm. Hey birds, how's everybody doing? Hey birds, look at that. Everybody seemed to weather the storm all right. Let's get over here and see how these guys did. Hey birds, look at that. Everybody is doing well, which is, which is a good thing because check this out right here. I got to show you this. Look right up here, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit and show you what Mother Nature left for us. So Mother Nature decided to move in and drop a little skiff of snow up there on our, on our mountaintop. Uh, we didn't get any down here, but uh, that's okay because uh, we'll keep it up there for now, for the time being. So uh, the birds seemed to do all right last night. Uh, Everybody's still exchanging oxygen for carbon dioxide. Always glad to see that when I get out here on the pasture. So here's what we're gonna do. We are going to, uh, it's dried out quite a bit. So we're gonna move these tractors. We're gonna feed these birds, check the water, and we will check back in before we head back to the, to the uh, garden. Stand by. So as I was moving the tractors again, this uh, hardware cloth, busted loose it just basically pulled the staples out so we're back at it again real quick repair with the uh, fencing pliers and some wire we'll wire this back down because I could see one of those coons reaching under here being able to get in here with their little paws and and uh, go grocery shopping so I don't want that to happen so what we're gonna do is just wire it back down to the uh, to the chicken wire and uh, that should that should do it for us so uh, just wanted to do that real quick and then we'll uh, we'll check out and head back to the uh, back to the uh, garden all right so chicken farming done uh, just finished up moved all the tractors got feed down they're on uh, they're on dry ground again um, it's it's a good day to be a chicken today I'll tell you what sun's out they're starting to uh, they're starting to lay down I don't know if you can see it back here let me see if I can move that just a little bit they got a belly full and, and now they're just starting to lay in the sun and warm up and, and uh, they're, just, they're just enjoying being birds for another week or so. Um, I hate to be morbid, but yeah, that's what they, about what they got left. So uh, I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm probably going to head out hunting again tomorrow morning. I'm finally recuperated. My, I've got my legs back under me. I, it doesn't hurt when I walk anymore. And uh, so I'm probably going to go hunt tomorrow morning. Uh, and then be back to feed and, and post a video tomorrow afternoon of the chickens. Uh, so here's the deal. I've got basically five days left in my archery season. Uh, after that, I have to wait eight days, and then I can, I can start hunting again with a rifle. But if I can get an elk killed here tomorrow or Wednesday or Thursday or Friday or Saturday even, if I can get a, uh, an elk killed with my bow, that means that we could move up the butcher date on these birds. So we could conceivably be doing this thing on the 1st of October rather than the 7th. Uh, I, I haven't flown that past the, uh, the chicken boss yet, but I'm sure she'll be all right with that because we've just got so much stuff stacking up on us. Um, I, have, uh, I have some friends coming from Pennsylvania, from out of state. Uh, to hunt deer with me in October, middle of October. So I've got that coming up too. So we, we've got to get these birds butchered uh, so that we can get them in the freezer and, and uh, uh, close the chapter on, the, on chicken farming. Um, but as I said before, there, there's some other things that we've got going that, that are going to come up uh, more, more ag related stuff. So just stay with us. Um, but uh, I, I will be heading out again, I think, tomorrow morning. Uh, again, if, if all the stars align, I'll head out tomorrow morning. Uh, try to get an elk shot and then uh, so that way we can finish up this uh, this chicken farm and stuff so Wyoming James uh, checking out from the pasture uh, we'll see you again as soon as we get back to town and we'll check on those birds in the garden stand by all right so we have made it back to the garden here and we are going to go over here and check on our little friends and I've got uh, Got something I really need to take care of here. I need to move the little dozer. Hey birds. Hey birds, look at them. They're all they're all glad to see me. So I'm gonna move that tractor, or that dozer rather, and uh, we'll let the helicopter take off over at the at the uh, hospital. So I'm gonna take a quick break real quick. 
Actually, no, I'm not. That's all part of the Urban Micro Farm experience. So let's do this. Let's just set you guys down. Let's turn the birds loose. Hey, birds. Now I'll move this dozer real quick. So that ought to work. They're on, uh, they're on fresh grass. Um, I got some of those, uh, those, uh, what are those called? Radish greens that they're going to be able to eat while they're in there. Now I'm going to go bait the inside of that dozer. See if I can lure them back in. <laughs> see how this works. Hey birds. Okay, so we're missing a bird. I gotta find him. Okay, so I seriously, I seriously have no idea where that bird is. I'm gonna go row by row here. Now, I might have screwed up. I did leave the gate open. But, oh, there he is. Got him spotted. He was hiding over here. Hey, bird. He's over here getting a little drinky drink. So, we will, uh, we'll get him shuffled back over to the to the dozer here. Come on. Come on. I'm just a chicken herder. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Here, bird. Here, bird. Here, come here. Hey, bird. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, everybody made it. That was a little bit, a little bit of anxious moment there. But they're all, all back in here eating now. Okay, so that completes another day at the uh, Urban Micro Farm. So birds are all tucked in, hopefully for the evening there. Oop, I see a little problem. I wonder if you guys see it too. So. I have to go get the wire and fix, where's it at, right there, I have to fix that little corner that's, that I must have snagged on a, on a plant or something was I, when I was going across, so I'm going to fix that so we don't have any little raccoon problems tonight, but uh, other than that, I think we're good, so Wyoming James checking out from day, day 70, is it, day 70, the Urban Micro Farm, see you tomorrow, adios.